Hi guys, <coughs> today I will be showing you how to desolder a component from a manufactured circuit board. I already salvaged this <coughs> transformer, sorry, <coughs> I've got a little gold. Uh, um, and now I will be desoldering this other transformer over here, which I need for one of my next videos. Here it is. And this circuit board, it came from a huge printer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, so this is probably the power supply board. So let's get to it. This is the transformer and now I'm going to salvage it. But the important thing is I can I, I can put my solder uh, soldering iron to it and nothing will happen. Nothing much will happen. Oh, it, now, now it does, but uh, normally this, this they, they solder all the components with lead free solder. It's, it's it's a pain in the ass. So what I normally do, add a little of my own solder. So there, now it flows way easier. And then put this suction thing on it. And there we go. Nice, clean, it's all, uh, it's free. The pin is totally free from, from all the edges. So now I can do the next one. Add a little solder again. Wait a bit till all the solder at the bottom of the, actually the top of the circuit board is all liquid form. And there we go. Actually I have to push this a couple of times uh, sometimes because all the solder will get in this thing and it will get stuck eventually. Next one. Yeah, looks good. And the next one. There we go. Does that look? Oh, awesome. Oh. I just fell in love with my own desoldering. Just went nice. It got it got a little stuck on the side, but when I put my solder iron to it, it just came loose. So that's nice. So I will salvage this transformer because I need the enameled wire. Uh, I have a lots of enameled wire in stock, but I will probably mess up in my next video. You will see it when it's there. Uh, I will mess up a lot of enameled wire, so it's uh, yeah. I, I, I just didn't want to use. The expensive wire I bought at the local shop over here. So I'm going to use the garbage from this, these transformers. I'm probably going to speed up the video right now because it will probably be get pretty boring me desoldering all the other pins. Yeah, that's it. So. I will speed it up and so you can see me doing it and you can put YouTube on, on slow and uh, if you w really want to see me do it, but I guess you don't. So I will shut up for now. That's not good enough, that's probably way too much solder. Oh, it's actually a little stuck. That's not good. Oh, that's not gonna do the trick anymore. It's full of... Let's see if this works for this last time because I don't want to clean it right now. Mm, 
that just might have worked. Oh, so let's see. There we go. And that's how you desolder a component. Also, it's uh, worth noting that not every component is worth saving or worth salvaging. Um, the smaller electrolytic uh, capacitors, the uh, fuses, resistors, uh, transistors probably, they're all very, very cheap, uh, cheaply available on eBay. Um, so that they're not, not worth salvaging. These are actually not, not worth also, but, but for the enameled wire in it, uh, they're worth soldering, desoldering. The inductors are worth uh, solving, and probably these large ceramic capacitors are also worth uh, salvaging, but the rest of it you can just throw it away. These are small relays, probably, uh, yeah, you have to decide for yourself if it's worth desoldering. They, they can be a pain to desolder. Uh, and they're also very, very cheap on eBay, so decide for yourself. So, that's two transformers. A lot, a lot of, a lot of windings on these. Uh, so let's see if it's, uh, if I can get any enameled wire out of it. That, which I will be using in my next video. So, thanks for watching.